In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to lock and unlock specific portions of a course inside of Thrive Apprentice so that you can offer pieces and components of it, whether that be lessons or modules, free as lead magnets or for whatever purpose you want. So for example, this is my Thrive Ultimatum webinars funnel, and this is a free course, or at least parts of this course are free. And we can see under the content that I want to make the webinar funnel overview free for those who sign up and join my list, but the rest of the modules, or in this case, they're just lessons. I wanna make those available only to those who join my membership. So right now under access restrictions, you can see that the entire course is available for those inside of the membership they can basically sign up and get access to everything. But how do I then just restrict access to the overview? To do that, we're going to go into the drip section and we're going to create a drip campaign and we're going to choose Thrive Automator Unlock. Push continue and we're going to give this a name and instead of a specific date and time, we're going to change that to user purchases the product. We're gonna leave unlock content with Thrive Automator and content to unlock is lessons. And you can see I only have lessons available here. Uh, and that's because there are only lessons. If you had modules, you would see that you would have modules available. Now for us, what we're going to do is we're just gonna leave it right here because I don't know if you noticed at the very beginning, uh, my content was actually out of order. I wanted to offer a lesson that was the second lesson. So we'll leave it here. Um, but essentially what you're doing is saying, I want to lock behind Thrive Automator actions, anything after the lesson that you choose. So. We'll just choose this one and click create my campaign. And now you'll see here that we have these little pinkish, I don't know what color this is, action icons, essentially telling you that uh, anyone that is put into a product that uses this drip campaign uh, right now is going to get access to the first lesson, but nothing else. We're gonna change this. We're actually going to change this to say add a rule and we're gonna make this a Thrive Automator action as well. And then we're going to click add and save. And now everything is blocked by Thrive Automator. Now here's what's interesting about Thrive Apprentice and this new drip mechanism that we have to play with. We could essentially leave it just like this. Everything inside of this drip campaign that we called free course overview is by default locked. And the only way they're going to get access to any of it is if they are given access by Thrive Automator automation. Now what we can do is come under access restrictions and add a new product. So you remember Convology Pro, in my case, my membership has full access to this course, but let's add another product. You can give it whatever name you like, and then we'll just make sure that our course is inside of it. In this case, it's our Thrive Ultimatum Webinars Funnels course. We can verify that there and click done. Now, if we left it just like this, anyone that got access to this product would have access to everything, and it would be no different than our our membership having full access. So now we need to apply our drip campaign that we created that essentially locked everything behind an automator action. And we're going to add a drip feed schedule, our free course overview that we created. And now if we go back, we have two products inside of our course. We have our membership product that gives access to it, full access. And we have our free course ultimatums funnel that we created that has this drip schedule or drip campaign applied that locks everything. Okay, so now what's gonna happen is if somebody gets access to our product, they're not going to have access to anything. So now we need to set up under Thrive Automator how we give access to somebody that signs up for this free course. To do that, let's bring up Thrive Automator and let's go to add new. And now we get to choose in Thrive Automator how we give access to whatever lessons inside of that course that we want to. We have several options. Let's go ahead and take a look at what triggers apply. None of these initial ones make a lot of sense. You just user registers an account, uh, but we do have incoming webhooks. This could be somebody signing up through a convert box, which is my lead segmentation tool that I like to use. That would be great. We could give access when a user completes a quiz in Thrive Quiz Builder. Maybe you're giving access to somebody if they essentially fill out a survey or a questionnaire so you can gather data about them. That's a great way to use a quiz funnel to give a free course or part of a free course in this case. Or we have the easiest one, which is a form is submitted. So this would be like just having a lead generation form on your website that says fill out this form to get access to this module or this free lesson. For our purposes, I like the form submit option. I think that's a good one. So we'll choose form submit. And, and we don't want to use always trigger because that means any form submitted on our website would give the users access. So for us, we're going to choose a specific form. 
So real quick, let me show you how to set that up. I'm just going to use the lead gen form and drag this in. A simple form is really all that you need. I recommend a name and an email field. You don't need more, but you could. And what we're interested in for this form, and again, this is Thrive, so you can customize this form to look like whatever you want, and you can add or connect any other API things that you want here. But I'm gonna show you the bare bones way to do this. All we really care about is under advanced on the left-hand side here, this identifier, and we can customize this however we want. So if this form was going to be our free ultimatum course, that's going to be what we set our identifier to. And I could have left that default, by the way, I could have left it that complex gibberish, um, but I like to make mine easy to identify so I know what forms on my site do what. And then don't forget that you can redirect and you can send people to confirmation pages. Uh, in my previous videos, I've talked about you can use a confirmation page to tell people to check their email address. Uh, they may be getting access to a course and things like that. But from a bare bones perspective, this is all we need to do on any form that we're setting up. So just make sure that you save that form and put it wherever you want. And let's go back to Thrive Automator. Now inside of Thrive Automator, like I said, we don't want always trigger. We want to trigger on a specific form. So we'll choose our specific form and we're going to choose our free ultimatum course. And then we're going to click done. So now what's going to happen? Well, when somebody fills out our free ultimatum course form, let's add another action. Here we want to find or create a user. This is essentially saying if a user exists with the email address that was filled out in this form, then do whatever I'm going to tell you to do next. If not, it's going to say create the user with the email address and the name that they entered. So that's exactly what we want to do. And I recommend you choose subscriber, click done, add another action. And for this one, we want to grant access to a product. Now, what product? Well, that's pretty easy. It's going to be our free course that we just created. And while technically this is all that you have to do to give access to it, let's add another action just for good measure and let's add them to our autoresponder or our email marketing tool. So we can click view all and then we can tag a user or add a user in our autoresponder. For me, that's going to be Fluent CRM. That's pretty easy. And I'm going to add them to my tag that starts their free course nurture sequence. Now, when this tag is applied, I have automations in Fluent CRM that will initiate an onboarding sequence that will nurture the user and hopefully move them down a path towards purchasing the full version of the course. So you can hit enter on that tag just to lock it in and then click done. Now, don't forget in the upper left-hand corner, give our automation a name. Something descriptive about what you're doing is good. Hit enter. And then in the upper right-hand corner, don't forget to hit publish. Now we're almost ready to submit our test. First, we need to set up our website to make sure that anyone that signs up for a free account is going to get login credentials. So for this, we're going to go into settings in Thrive Apprentice, and we're going to go to email templates and choose new account created. You can edit this email however you want. Just make sure to leave in this part here so that Thrive can give them their login credentials. And then make sure that you have, when a user registers to create a new free account, make sure that's checked because that's what we're going to do. And just a reminder, this is only going to go out to them if they are using an email that is not already a member. If they've purchased other courses on your website or if they've received other free courses, they're going to be able to log in using their exact same credentials and access the course. So you can see why a confirmation page that's adequately equipped to tell them what to do next is a good idea. I would recommend saying, if you already have an account, log in and access your stuff. If you don't have an account, we just emailed you your login credentials. So when you have your email template set up, go ahead and just click save template. And now let's run our test. All right, I'm going to log in with the credentials that were just sent to me. And here we go, log in. And now what you're looking at is the dashboard on my website built entirely in Thrive. And you can see here, my courses is the section of my dashboard that allows people to access only the courses that they have access to or that they've purchased. So in our case, let's go ahead and select the course. It did give us access. And we can scroll down and we can see that there is more in this course than we have access to. So for example, we could try to go to the course intro lesson and we're shown our default locked content message. Now I'm gonna show you how to customize this, but that's a good sign. It means it didn't just give us access to everything. Now let's navigate to the lesson that we should have access to, our webinar funnel overview, and then click go to lesson. And there you go, you can see that we have access to the free lesson inside of this course that we should have access to, but on the left-hand side, if we attempted to access another lesson, we're still shown that we don't have access. Now, I do want to show you one final thing, and that's how to customize this message so that you can upsell somebody to the full version of your course if they're just accessing the free part and try to access the component that's locked. 
To do that, you want to navigate to products, find your product, in our case, the free course ultimatum funnel, and then you want to find access restriction rules. Under access restriction rules, you'll see this section here, content is locked, drip feed protected. Instead of default site behavior, go ahead and click on that, choose display custom content, and then click edit with Thrive Architect. Here's where you can customize this message entirely. So for us, maybe we like the icon, but maybe we want to change the wording. And we can say something like this, where it tells them they can upgrade their membership. You might tell them the content is locked, here's how you upgrade, but the goal of this is to just explain why the content is locked and how to essentially unlock it. And this is your upsell. This is your way to funnel people in and to use this custom locked message for this specific product to upgrade somebody into your full membership or to get them to pay for the full version of your course. And that's it. With the flexibility of Thrive Automator, you're able to grant access to components of lessons, modules, certain parts of your courses while only using one course instead of having to make multiple other courses and have free versions and paid versions. You just have one course, but multiple products. And I've shown you in this video one way that you can use Thrive Automator to unlock aspects of this course however you want, whether it be an external or internal method. As always, any questions, feel free to comment down below and I'll see you in the next video.